Conversation games are games that require only conversational ability. Conversation games owe their popularity to their ability to be played almost anywhere with almost anyone and for their ability to generate conversation. Their popularity has gained in part due to the hip-hop culture and TV shows like Wild and Out and Yo Mama. Below are some good ideas to kill time between two or more people. The Dozens, a popular game originating from hip-hop culture where players verbally spar in an attempt to entertainingly insult one another. Related to your mom. Never Have I Ever Game, a drinking game among university students in which a person makes a statement in the form of, I have never X. All people who have done X must then drink. Often people try to craft questions in order to find out interesting information about others. 20 Questions, a two-player game in which one person has a noun in mind and the other player is allowed to ask 20 yes, no questions to try to guess the noun. Two Truths and a Lie, the player in the hot seat makes three statements about their life or experiences, of which two are true and one is false. The other players must interrogate them for further details about the three statements. The hot seated player must tell the truth in connection with the two true statements, but may lie to conceal the falsity of the untrue statement. Other players have to guess which is the lie. Walrus, a game in which players go back and forth stating nouns that beat their opponents' nouns, eventually resulting in ridiculous arguments over whether a noun, in fact, beats another noun, e.g., whether Jack Bauer beats Chuck Norris also known as existential rock-paper-scissors. What are they thinking? A game played in a public place where one player points to another in the room and asks the other player to describe what they are thinking, how they are feeling, etc. Players may also ask where they work, if they are happy, as well as any other questions. Would you rather? A game in which one player poses two scenarios, both equally revolting and dreadful, to another player who must then choose in which scenario they would rather find themselves. The challenge of the game is to not only come up with the horrific scenarios but find the advantages and disadvantages of each scenario and make a judgment call on which seems like the lesser of two horrors. There are many notably extreme examples of this as such as Would You Rathers, a website that poses user-submitted challenges with two options and counts the number of selections for each. Questions, a game in which each player must respond with a question. Statements are out, repetition and rhetoric are not allowed. It was played by the title characters in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. In the film version, it was played in a tennis court. Essence, a game in which one member of the group thinks of a mutual friend of all the group members and answers questions about that friend's essence until the group is able to guess what mutual friend the judge is thinking of. Examples of questions include, What color are they? What decade are they? Or, What stuffed animal would they be? The judge must answer whatever questions posed to them by the group no matter how creative, unusual, or existential they may be. Mary Shag Kill, a game in which players list a group of three people and others must decide which of the group they would shag, chuck, disregard completely, or marry. The people listed are often celebrities or people that everyone in the group knows. Humorous situations often arise when all three listed potential people are considered by the group to be completely undesirable and all must debate on their relative merits and which one would be the best choice for each category. An example of Mary Shag Kill can be played online. Make it or break it, a game where one imagines one's dream man or woman, with all the qualities you want in them. And then, somebody says, make it or break it. And they insert one bad quality about them and everybody decides whether they still would like to be with that man, woman, even with the terrible quality the person had explained. They can be serious, or really funny unrealistic qualities. It is fun to see the difference in both genders' responses. The actor game, one person says one actor's name and someone else says another actor's name. One has to find a link between the two actors by using other actors to connect them. For example, Jennifer Lawrence and Jack O'Connell. Lawrence was in X Men, first class with Nicholas Holt, who was in Skins with O'Connell. Truth or Dare. Player 1 two or more players are needed asks Player 2, Truth or Dare. Player 2 answers either Truth or Dare. For a Dare, Player 1 must dare Player 2 to do something. If Player 2 says Truth, then Player 1 must ask Player 2 a question, and Player 2 must answer it truthfully. Psychiatrist a handful of players sit the patients in a circle and one leaves the room the psychiatrist the patients sitting in the circle then agree on a fictitious psychiatric condition that they all have in common 
The psychiatrist then comes back into the room and assumes the role of psychiatrist and quizzes the group in order to find out what the condition is. The psychiatrist may not inquire about the psychiatric condition itself, but may ask any other questions. For instance, the group may agree that they all believe they are the person sitting to their right, and when the psychiatrist returns into the room, they behave with the mannerisms of that person, and answers the psychiatrist's questions in the way they imagine the person to their right would. See also Drinking games Party games Pub games <laughs>